going on? How y'all doing? So word is out of Seattle University, the college basketball coach, Jim Hayford, he resigned. He resigned because he couldn't stop saying the N-word. Couldn't stop. They had him on administrative leave a month ago. They thought, well, maybe he'll cure himself of it. Maybe he will get himself into a quarantine where he'll rid himself of it. It don't work that way. You see, when people are comfortable with saying racist terms, especially when it comes to saying the N-word, they don't just miraculously get a cure and they don't just miraculously, you know, get out of a coma from it. It's ingrained in him. And um, the scary part, I think the cat's like 54, something like that. He He's at a middle stage. He's he's old enough to know better, but he's young enough to, to, to like still catch himself, but he can't. You know, that, that that's the frightening part of it. You know, and that's how dreaded it really is out here. That he feels so compelled. And what ended up happening is that the Seattle players... They stopped playing for him. They said, bump him. And you know, when you get mutiny on the bounty, it's over. It's over. And I like hearing that. Uh, the days of cats turning the other way when you were you're making racial disparaging remarks or looking the other way are almost gone. They never should have been accepted in the first place, but they really. And I've seen this old uh, wimpy burger head looking job pickle head turkey and he don't look like he got in any room to be trying to talk about somebody down racially because this turkey is <laughs> he's so lucky but see he had, you know when you're white privilege you walk around this happens all over this ain't nothing new you know it happens in all walks of life in america because black folks have not been respected just been seen as property and been seen as entertainment and just seen as something good. Cool. The human part has not been respected because if it had been, had there been some form of reparations or apologies, et cetera, et cetera, the idiots like this don't thrive. But this turkey, this ain't his first rodeo with it. He said it twice this year. He's probably said it 222 times within 220 some days. He just ain't heard about it. But at this time, it cost him his job. But how often has he been saying it? How long has he been around and able to do it? Think about it. Because it hasn't been pushed where well, you are wrong. Please hit the like, subscribe, and welcome thoughts and comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And if some cat like this is saying this on the low level, you can only imagine what them executives were paying these turkeys as bread what they really think about black folks. And I tell you, people don't really want to know the truth about racism in America, because if they did, they would not allow ghettos, Section 8s and places and disparity. They would question everything that this country is about. That's why the real history will never be open. And cats like this know that they thrive off of that. I'm out.